This year's generation, Dion Price, Life Skills Through Sports, a platform where we use high profile examples to teach life skills to today's youth generation. Today, there is plenty of material with the oversaturated access to media and social media and television and uh, podcasts and cable networks. Every day we have material that we can use to help teach life skills to today's youth generation in terms of life skills through sports. There's drama on and off the court. There's plenty of opportunities for us to use these platforms to plant some seeds that can improve the quality of life for young people. This week, let's focus on NFL All-Pro wide receiver Antonio Brown, who by all my estimation has lost a nearly $39, $40 million contract through his, and his career due to misconduct, off the court, inappropriate, profession, unprofessional behavior, and just acting a damn fool. Cost him his career. Is that a lesson that we can learn for young people today? Absolutely. The theme for that is don't let your ability oppress your humility. You have to keep yourself humble because no matter how talented you are, you're still not above the law. You still have to uh, go by rules and regulations. There are some talented young people who believe that their uh, talent, where their skill set in sports, can give them a pass to, for misconduct and inappropriate activity on and off the court. There's plenty of stories of people losing their careers, their scholarships, their athletic potential due to bad decisions and inappropriate behavior. Let's take it to scripture. 2 Peter 1 verse 6 talks about endurance and self-control consistency in your self-control. You have to maintain your faculties at all times and be humble. No matter what, it can cost you your career, your freedom, and, and so much. In this case, in Antonio Brown, his, his appropriate, inappropriate behavior, kind of he got, it seemed like he just got full of himself, then doing inappropriate behavior where no team wanted to put up with that, his conduct. Eventually, your talent will not be a pass for your misconduct. Eventually, it's going to catch up with you. Like my mom used to say, she has some classics too. Don't let your mouth write a check that your behind can't cash. <laughs> she used to hit me with that all the time. So that means sometimes you can say and do some things that can come back and bite you. You have to be mindful of what comes out of your mouth because you are a, a high profile athlete now. You are a public figure now. So everything you do or say is going to be magnified other than the average person. So you have more to lose. There's plenty of lessons that we can learn in history. Uh, another uh, series of athletes that come to mind that have lost their careers due to misconduct and inappropriate behavior is Maurice Claret. Uh, Ohio State superstar lost his NFL career due to inappropriate uh, activities, criminal behavior. The great Michael Richardson, Michael Ray Richardson from the New York Knicks, was banned from the NBA for life, was considered one of the best big guards uh, in, in the 80s cost his career. There's so many lessons that we can learn. Let's plant this seed to young people. There's somebody that needs to hear this. So the best way to solve a problem is to prevent a problem by learning from other people's mistake. But let's not just use these, this media for entertainment. Let's use it for edutainment. Discuss some of these, uh, these inappropriate actions. There's plenty of them every week. Somebody doing something stupid. <laughs> What a valuable piece of information and a valuable tool that you can use in your sports programs to discuss these high profile athletes. Let's be learners of other people's mistakes. We all going to take some L's, but let's learn from other people's losses, right? I need to get hit by a car to learn not to run in the streets. I got a friend, Leroy, got hit by a car twice. Now, all I had to do was, what did he do? He got hit by a car running in the streets. Okay, well, I won't be doing that. <laughs> it's that simple. So let's be those type of learners. The learners learn from other people's mistakes. So we don't have to learn from our own. Because these days, we won't survive our mistakes. We're in critical times, hard to deal with. Let's learn from these high profile athletes, teaching us lessons of conduct and how we should conduct ourselves. This is a great opportunity for us to teach life skills through sports to this youth generation. Just a thought, just a message. Deion Price, this youth generation, life skills through sports. Just a humble servant trying to make a difference. If you appreciate this type of programming, jump on to the YouTube channel and subscribe and also look out for the podcast, This Youth Generation Life Skills Through Sports.